following segment is sponsored by Uplift Families. One caring adult can make all the difference to a child. Christian Moore with Uplift Families is here to share how we can motivate and encourage kids who are struggling. Welcome, Christian. Thanks for joining us today. It's great to be here with you, sir. I'm thrilled because I think we're talking about something that's so important, which is uplifting children and really being a good inspiration to them. And you have deemed yourself the resilience expert. You've spoken about this many times all yeah. over. We were chatting just a few yeah, minutes yeah, ago. Yeah. I want to talk about resilience and how important it is to children and how did you first become important in it yeah. or interested in yeah. it rather yeah. yeah 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 just you know going through life's challenges I always like to say I attended the University of adversity you know we know life is I like difficult I always tell people the number one thing you have to have to be resilient is something to bounce back from you know we know resilience is the ability to bounce back so you have to have some type of suffering that's one of the the key ingredients to yeah. um, being resilient and for me I got interested in resilience because the challenges I had growing up I grew up in a home with five brothers six sisters both my parents had some mental health issues and one of my best friends moms um, who I endearingly call Mama Jackson, an African-American lady, you know, took over and, and helped raise me. That one person, you know, made a huge difference in my life. And, you know, because of what she did for me, you know, I've been able to reach, you know, many, many kids across this country and the work I do. And a little side note, Mama Jackson got the National Rosa Parks Award. Um, wow. One of... Um, Dr. King's good friends, a gentleman by the name of Dr. Virgil Wood, read my book, The Resilience Breakthrough, learned about what we were doing across the country, and Mama Jackson got this incredible um, Save the Children Award. That's and, so um, incredible. Yeah, yeah, so you had, yeah. obviously, people that made a huge impact in your life, and you're yeah. continuing the tradition. As you mentioned, you're a public author, uh, published author. You've spoken all over. And I know you have parenting tips for parents to help them instill resilience yeah. in their children. Let's talk about some of those tips. Yeah, I think one of the most important things for parents to do is just remind kids what they have already overcome. They've already overcome so much. You think about, you know, what we've just dealt with with COVID. They've right. overcome COVID. Um, they've overcome, you know, maybe a challenge in school, a peer pressure issue, maybe rejection. But these kids have already overcome so much. So resilience is already within them. And we mm -hmm. just have to remind them what they've done, what they've overcome. Um, another thing that's powerful is having a a family member, you know, just examples of a family member who maybe lost a job, made a comeback. Sure. Or um, I know in my family growing up, we, we had the story of my grandfather who was in a prison camp during World War II. Wow. And just hearing his story of resilience sure. growing up, you know, I, I named one of my sons after him. His middle name's named after him. But just oh. using his resilience as, as an example is really, really powerful. Sure. And I think it's another thing that really helps a child be resilient is we should really praise and celebrate effort over outcome. Mm, you know, if, if we're sitting down with a child and they're showing us something incredible they've done or a painting or something they drew, it's, it's more important to focus on the effort they put into it. Like, you know, if they draw a picture of a tree, you know, I really like those leaves on that tree. Yeah. Versus, you know, the, oh, this is just a nice picture. It's it's, it's celebrating that, that effort effect. That so effort important. is so important. Yeah, okay, yeah. really quick, and then you have a last one, and then we're gonna talk about a special that's upcoming, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So number four, what is that tip you had? Yeah, the next one I think is really important is a child learns that nothing's wrong with them if they have negative emotions. You know, we have 40 to 60,000 different emotions every day. Some are positive, some are negative. Mm -hmm. We want kids to understand early as possible that they can maximize both their positive and negative emotions. You have wow. twice the fuel source to be resilient if you can tap into both your positive and negative emotions. It took me years to understand that even when I'm having difficulty or negative emotions, I can still do something positive with those emotions. That's so powerful. It's incredible. There's, there's so many good tips yeah. and you have many more, but yeah. you, there is a special yeah. coming up with KUTV and Uplift Families. Yes. And I want to talk about that really quick. Where can people go for more information, Christian? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, go to, I think, upliftfamilies.org. You, you can access that there. And um, if, if you want more information on how to teach resilience yeah. in the home, if you go to whytry.org, we have a parenting guide for parents that it's for free where they can access this. And we're excited to partnership with Uplift Families. They're doing incredible work and we look forward to doing the event with them here soon. So many amazing things going on. You're doing such great work and I really appreciate you coming on. Thank you, Kristen. Hey, great to be here with you, sir. Bye -bye.